Wang Hao and Han Xu. Okay, so thanks uh, for Chair's introduction. Uh, this is Rong Hao and Han Zhi from National Taiwan University. And today we're going to give a back-to-back -back presentation, uh, well, a Gauss combo, <laughs> if you like to call that, uh, to introduce two novel uh, uh, portable system uh, of tangible user interfaces involving physical constraints from research to product. So Han Zhi will be the first one presenting Gauss marble. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Han Zhi. I'm going to talk about Gauss marbles. There is spherical magnetic tangible for interacting with portable physical constraint, which enable the new opportunities of physical ball gaming on the portable platforms. OK, let's take the pinball game as an example. A ball allows the player to apply force to it and it rolls, spin, and bounces in a predictable way. At the same time, the physical constraints stop the moving ball, preventing falling outside the platform. The haptic feedback also enriches the gaming experience. That's why we love physical pinball so much. However, uh, we have to admit that the audio and visual feedback is not as rich as the digital one. Like a ding, ding, ding in the Windows <laughs> pinball game. <laughs> so we consider using tangible user interface to make some changes. Actually, token plus constraint system has been one of the three major categories of TUI. Previous token plus constraint system mostly developed a 1D interaction on static token on the three constraint, focused more on the controlling information. But when we focus on more on the interaction between the dynamic, rolling ball, and a loose constraint, we found that if the constraint can be more portable, there will be a richer design space to explore. However, checking the ball in the constraint usually requires a top-down camera, which is not portable enough to support our exploration. So we are going to provide a more portable solution the solution we choose is to attach a Gauss sense, the magnetic field camera, to the back of the display. Compared to traditional camera tracking method, the magnetic camera not only provides a better form factor for portable interaction, but also more robust. But here is the challenge. Since the magnetic field is bipolar, one of the polarity may disappear when the ball is rolling or hovering in a certain height. The unstable feature makes the tracking difficult. Instead of resorting to heavy computation, we propose a that simple solution. <laughs> that is deploying equal strand magnet on a regular polyhedron. By this deployment, bipolar magnetic field can be seen at any angle. And the tracking is become to more stable. To understand the relationship between the factor of design and the performance, two factors are explored the number of fast and the size of the fast. An analog whole sensor grid is used for capturing image of the magnetic field. An elevating platform, which consists of a server motor and a stabilizer, is used for rotating each board at a different hover height steadily. Eight magnetic sphere are fabricated by the 3D printer. Seven are polyhedron in different size and different fast. And another one is met by the single magnet. Each sphere is measured at five position, four hopper height, and the 10 angle of tilt on the sensor. Each measurement consists 100 samples. So the analysis including 160,000 bitmaps. On data processing, three type of contours we extract from each magnetic field image. Bipolar blob, no blob only, and so far only. Each contour, the three centroids are identified. The centroid of contours, the centroid of pixels, and the centroid of mass. And then, nine distribution of centroid are damped, as well as the mean position and its mean distance to the centroid of each sample. This distance is used as a metric of dispersion, showing the performance of tracking. 
result. Four major findings and guidelines at up 10. First, bipolar centroid of mass is the most stable feature for XY tracking. So we use it in the remaining analysis. Second, single magnet does not support the z-axis tracking, but the polyhedron supports it by using the product of soap blood area and intensity. So the polyhedron supports 3D interactions. Third, although the more fast provide greater accuracy, the accuracy drops a sensing distance increase. So the fast number should be considered for different applications. Less. Smaller polyhedron provides slightly greater accuracy. Based on less four major findings and guidelines, we implement the sensing this system of Gauss marbles. Now, we can start to explore the design space of ball plus constraint system on the portable platforms. This variation consists of five applications in different level of embodiment. Pinball game illustrate the use of physical constraint on the tablet display. A physical pinball cast is fixed on the display. The user can use the handle to hit the ball while the target to score. And if the ball is get stuck, user can bump and tilt the display to continue playing. Constraint can be held in hand. Library can apply a mask to the display. The user release the ball to start playing and hold and tilt the display to move in ball. Normally, since the ball is touch sensitive, the treating is detached and forbidden. Continual territory met can be met by applying clay on the display. The user use the goal putter to push the ball from the outside and then the destination is determined by the territory. And this, my favorite one, the bowling ball. <laughs> bowling game show a near display constraint can bridge the physical object and digital content. A user bowl toward the screen to hit the virtual pin. And then a physical ball return to the user so the user can bowl it again. Oh, scribe. It allows the user to enjoy the both physical and virtual gaming experience. The dart game is the last one. Both the dart ball and the ghost marbles are wrapped in the ferrule, which functions as a material constraint. So the user can throw multiple darts to the vertical surface. Conclusion, we propose a new magnetic polyhedron designed to enable robust 3D tracking of a ball using an analog hole sensor grid without extra training effort. So exploring a rich set of portable ball plus constraint interactions become easier. We hope the future work can apply these single techniques to bridge physical and digital, digital ball game using Ghost Mobile. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>